is your first time on the channel, my name is Pete and I'm going to be taking you guys through the UHD binos from Vortex. Now, I have been a naughty boy and broken the seal just a tad to have a squiz inside. I literally didn't go anything past opening the lid and removing the first piece of carton. But, we are going to cut that seal again, you know, because, yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. So, let's pop these guys open. They open like this let me just check my framing is correct there so as always we're greeted with the nice packaging that we've come to know and love from vortex what this is how far i got by the way the first time i opened this i have not used them i have not looked through them so i'm pretty much as excited as you are By the way, throughout the video, I'm going to talk you guys through some features in binoculars. Maybe you're not interested in this model specifically, but you're looking at other binoculars. But, you know, what does an 8x42 mean or a 12x50? Well, it's too much info. I'm going to, don't worry, I'm going to help you out with that. Okay, so we are greeted with this nice pouch, which houses the binos. So we're just going to make a little bit of space over here. Pop those guys down right there. Uh, what else have we got? Okay. This is cool, sort of like a mini pouch. Oh, please. Oh, I just had a great idea for that. Um, let's open this sucker up. Yeah, just a plain mini pouch. Oh, my word. They've even put little bullet holders in there. Let's find some bullets and see, and see if it works. I'm just going to grab a dummy round magnum because, you know, um, please fit, please fit, please fit, please fit, please. It's a little bit tight for a magnum, but... Creedmoor should do it. Uh, boom. Creedmoor fits. No problemo. Mega Magnum. Okay. Less but Magnum. That could be cool. Otherwise, I guess you could just chuck them in. Anyway, very nice little ad there. Uh, it's got padding and a space to put your favorite patch. Maybe a Pete Skeet patch if that's something you're into. And then we've got the Mole. 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 I don't know how to say that, but what's cool about that is that goes on the front of this so that when you're running it as a harness, which we're going to get to, you can have some additional storage space in there. Now, what I'm hoping for in this specific case, which might be a little bit of a stretch, is that it can either house my Kestrel. Okay, let me just wrap this guy up nice and neat, which I'm thinking it should fit like a freaking glove. So that's a win, because I like having that Kestrel sort of in an accessible way. Now, one thing to note when you've got stuff in a front little pouch like this, if you're going to be operating the zip, that could potentially make a little bit of noise. So be cognizant of that. Um, one of my other pouches has a little magnet latch, which works pretty cool. But that is super nice to have. And I'm thinking they would have planned ahead and also made it so that my little Razor 4000 can fit in there. That would also be pretty slick, or sometimes when we hunt, depending on the terrain, you know, we're not going to be shooting out to 400 meters, and then I would just leave the Kestrel. However, this weekend, going for our hunt, it's going to be pretty windy, so I might take the Kestrel. This fits like an absolute glove, too. Um, so that's a really nice addition and a really nice little value add. So before we get there, I know you guys are itching. Let's see what else we got. Um, little lens cleaning cloths, a really nice neck strap, okay it's got some rubber padding and what's nice about that the padding is actually texturized so that it doesn't, it shouldn't necessarily slip on your clothes and rotate on you so that's pretty cool, 
And then this is another really cool addition. What these are, these are harness straps. So instead of having to purchase this item separately, I mean, this is, this is really, really cool of them. Um, I have a Badlands pack, which is similar to this, where I can put, you know, it takes my binos, it takes a Kestrel, and um, it's basically the exact same thing. However, that was 300 and something dollars, if I remember correctly, my wife bought that for me. Whereas this actually ships with that. So this guy basically pops on your back, you attach it to your harness, and then you are good to go in a hunting environment. I'm absolutely gonna take advantage of that. Now we have another box over here. What could this be? This is this is just a spacer box. It does it does nothing. Um, <laughs> that's just to keep everything all snug in there. And then obviously we've got our manual, which is only one, two, three, four pages long, so I might actually read this one. Um, okay, let's get over to the meat and potatoes, which is our UHD binos. Now, what I like about how they've done this, and I'm this is pretty much you guys know of my videos. It's what you see is what you get, so I'm just gonna go with it. But what I do like how they've done this is they haven't got a zip on the top. So if you need to access your binos, like we were saying just now where this, this could be a problem, you won't have that problem here because this system is on sort of a bungee cord. Obviously it's gonna be a little bit noisy now because we have those there, but you'll be able to just pop it off without making any noise and you can't lose the top because it's attached all around. Okay, so the housing of the harness seems to have some sort of hard compound in there which gives it a lot of rigidity um, and that's going to keep your binos super secure and it's obviously it's padded on the inside and the outside let's pop that guy over there okay this is my first time laying eyes on these guys okay so a little bit of a design update over the previous razor hd binos um, those were like 10 years old i think slightly older than 10 years before these guys came out okay so obviously in our studio space i'm not going to be able to appreciate the glass and that so we're not going to comment on that at all in the video today's video is purely to show you guys sort of the different features we have on here give you show you what is all in the box and tell you why i specifically chose this model i also like the fact that they've got the little dust covers on the front these are super cool and sometimes let me know in the comments down below if you guys have put your binos up to your face and gone like oh, I can't see everything and then realize you've still got your dust covers on um, and then we have the same dust covers at the back now we've got that normal hinge design in the middle and then I'm just going to look over at the wall just because that's what you do when you get new binos try and focus it down nice and close wow I'm surprised that's actually focusing this close so again, just glass quality wise, not gonna comment on that. I also don't feel it's fair to you guys, you know, if I do a video, I don't wanna be that guy that, hey, I got these, and then like, it's the best thing ever, you know? So I really wanna use them, I wanna put them through their paces, and then I can give you feedback, like this is what I found I like about this, and this is what I don't like about it. So we're going hunting this coming weekend. That's why I'm getting this unboxing done for you guys right now, out the way, so I can actually take these out into the field and put them through their paces. Now, as normal, you're gonna be able to adjust your focus on there. I believe we have fine focus on this eyepiece on a locking mechanism, which is cool. And then whether you're running glasses or not, your adjustment's gonna be there. It does feel super quality. It's not really heavy. It's really comfortable. They've sort of ergonomically shaped it down here. I'm gonna try and show you guys that on camera so that when you're running your thumbs there, it really feels comfortable. One thing I wanna check um, is if my Vortex Uni mount, let's see if I can undo that. Woo! It's gonna work. Um, yes, no, no, yes, it's gonna work this way. Okay, if I pop this guy in there, I need a bigger screw. Okay, it looks like I just need a bigger screw, but my Vortex Uni mount should work on that, and that's basically gonna allow me to mount this to my tripod, mount this guy right in the middle of the binos and I'll be able to just chuck it onto the tripod and that's really going to be super cool for shooting matches or doing glassing out in the field. Now, when we said earlier, why did I choose this specific model? I think this for me personally 
is going to be the best sort of let me just pop this guy back in there it's going to be the best all rounder i love how they've obviously cut the thread perfectly so the little logo lines up absolutely perfect um for me this is going to be the best all rounder when it comes to hunting match shooting it offers a really wild field of view which is great for hunting and it's also great for spotting at competitions to be able to quickly navigate from target to target now these guys are available in different magnification levels i believe we have an 8 by 42 i'll explain how the magnification and the other number works just now if you're completely new and you want to know more so i believe we have an 8 by 42 we have a 10 by 42 we have the 12 by 50 and then you have the giant 18 by 56 model, which for me would be a little bit overkill. If you're doing ELR shooting or you just want to get right up to your target, I think those could be a good fit. So how that works is with the first number you see is the amount of magnification you're getting. So in my case, I got the 12 by 50. So everything that I see through these binos will be 12 times larger. They'll be magnified by 12 times. The other number you see is very much like on a rifle scope. So the second number, 12, meaning magnification by 50, means the size of the objective lens. So that's gonna be both of these objective lenses. They're gonna be similar to, let's grab a PST Gen 2 out of the scope drawer. Uh, nope, not that drawer, that's a razor. Uh, there we go, we've got a PST Gen 2. I do believe this is a 44 model, so that's going to be slightly smaller than that, but that gives you guys a really good idea of sort of the 56 is basically going to be the size of a razor on the front. Anyway, I'm super pumped to go out in the field and play with these guys, really get some hands-on experience. And then if you guys want, I can do sort of an update video how after I've used them at a couple of matches, I've hunted with them a little bit, and that's really gonna give me a good idea of sort of what we are dealing with. And I'll come back and I'll give you guys an update video on that. Anyway, so if you were in the market for the UHDs, you weren't quite sure what they come with, I think there's a lot of value add. Obviously, they're a premium piece of kit. This is top tier, top of the range, so, don't get a skrik, skrik Afrikaans word of the day, it's like getting a fright. Um, don't get a fright when you see the price tag. Obviously, if you look on Vortex's website, that's the recommended retail. They do sell for a whole lot less. I'll have some USD prices down here. And in South Africa, if you're interested in buying this or any other pair of binos, you know where my store is at, impactproshop.net. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to definitely enjoy the hell out of these this weekend. If you haven't already, you can subscribe in this sort of area. If you're keen on hunting or birding or any sort of that sort of thing, check out some of our hunting videos up here. And if you want to join our exclusive club, the people of impact, make sure you click down here. And I look forward to chatting with you guys further there. Have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you guys in the next one.